Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 27th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at the sun for the past two days, as we've seen no new major solar flares to report. But we did have a large coronal mass ejection take off from the top left region of our sun, Plasma filament ejected away. No images just yet with SDO. But big plasma filament eruption. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Cresting into view sunspot regions. There's the plasma filament that let go. And no images just yet. Looking at outgoing. These were the most active regions for the past week. Now turning away. Getting ready for backside activity hearing here we're looking at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events a little look in the bottom left hand side of our magnetic field on the sun during that earth facing coronal hole which is very prominent and dark right there and watching that top left hand region you can see the black plasma filament swirling around and then eventually lifting away. Stay tuned for tomorrow's update. We'll give you full imagery with the latest images. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play tonight. Hope you all had a safe and healthy day. Aware and prepared. Much love to you all and thank you for all the love and support to this channel. So no new major solar flares or solar storms heading our way, but we are in the midst of a geomagnetic event due to the coronal hole wind stream. Have a look now. We have four Earth-facing sunspots. 4006 could be the next big X-flare player. Current space weather conditions, we are under level 2 moderate geomagnetic storm impacts as that coronal hole wind stream smacked us pretty good. Currently, the solar winds are coming in at 575 kilometers per second. But I'll show you. Throughout the night, those solar winds popped up to one over 1,000 kilometers per second. They're showing the coronal hole wind stream impact. And then right about here is where... You can see a purple dot above the 810, so 810 kilometers per second. And moments before that, it was at 1,005 kilometers per second. So that was a heavy impact, super accelerated solar wind smashing our planet. At one point, it was 801 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing moderate C-class flares throughout the day today. Proton flux steadily coming down. Geomagnetic activity up to a KP6 after we saw solar wind smash us again at over 1,000 kilometers per second. Showing the Space Weather Prediction Center. Here is their spiral map. Big coronal mass ejection taking off outgoing position bottom region showing the incoming coronal hole which we will be in the, in the midst of it for another 24 hours or so last go to showing the last two days of cosmic energy is leaving our sun watching the last image there for the most recent plasma filament top left region and again we'll give you full updated imagery as they come in Tonight's Aurora forecast versus tomorrow's. Definitely more prevalent tonight. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still well and up and over 200 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Deepest being here, 4.8, 578 kilometer depth. We've seen some very deep earthquakes through the region recently. Northern parts of New Zealand, Hicks Bay reporting a 4.7. Pretty deep for the region as well. Indonesia into the Philippines plate, very active. 5.5 earthquake here in Kodoril, Nepal. 
after 5.3 yesterday. Notable 4.8 here, Carlsberg Ridge off the Arabian Plate and Awash, Ethiopia, 4.7 earthquake. And that is towards those active volcanic regions. Notable earthquake here, 4.7 Poland. Down into the south now, 5.5 earthquake, South Sandwich Islands, way east of the volcanic range, and as well a 4.8 on the west side of it. 5.1 earthquake there, Nazca Plate, and some deep activity, Peru, and off the coast of Peru, Central America, active today as well. United States, largest across American soil, being a 3.8 Petrolia, but notable activity up into the Pacific Northwest as tremors are still building and piling up. 3.3 earthquake there, Washington. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Kilauea has since stopped erupting. And right now we have an active and erupting 77 volcanoes across the world. And this is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers. West Ring of Fire has been a hot spot recently. I'm watching the Marianas Trench and I'm watching up into the, the Aleutian Islands. And then of course into the Northeast Pacific with the Wanda Puka Plate. Largest earthquake the past seven days has been the 6.1 Indonesia, but notable activity came in islands 5.8 a few days ago and all the deep activity recently we're still expecting something bigger so please just stay aware and prepared if you live in an earthquake prone zone be ready and have a plan that's what this is all about hashtag no fear here just aware and prepared please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share with your friends and family our world is changing and humanity needs to be updated daily to all of these great changes happening on our planet and again thank you for watching Heads up, across the Pacific Plate. Kind of a dead zone there. Southern BC to Alaska. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast. Big eruption last night at Kilauea. As you can see here, big plume swirling and moving westward. Also notable eruptions through the Aleutian Islands, Kamchatka, and Mexico. Overlooking Australia, South Africa, and Southeast Asia. Notable plume coming out of Central Africa, near Miragira, near Miragongo, El Doño, three active regions, three active volcanoes through that region. And then notable plume coming through the Mediterranean and coming from Northern Europe, North Atlantic after an eruption in Iceland. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. We've got a low pressure system scooting through the Atlantic and a Alberta clipper moving in for the next couple days. Backside of this low coming from Colorado in the long range forecast will be a snowy event. Other than that, we're going to have some pretty warm temperatures up and down all week long until the long range when we see these lows starting come from coming from the north. Big high pressure ridge building in the Atlantic. Pretty strong system will be affecting the Atlantic provinces and northeast regions, of the United States for the long range. Got a cyclone here affecting southern Madagascar. And as well, a cyclone which will be grazing by the Australian continent and then heading back to the coast. Stay tuned for full details on that forecast because that will be making impact through Sydney, Australia. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun.
and get your daily do. Bye-bye now.